Hello guys, let's fix some phones today, okay? On a Friday, 10 March 2023. So, let's start with this one. We do have this uh, Techno. Let me see the model. Techno model BD3, which was booked in as water damage. You can try here we have the power on button you can try to press on the, the power on button it's not turning on it's just dead let's come with the the usb and see if it's taking any current it's not taking any current it's just dead okay let's see what can the be the problem here let's open this one quickly we have a CUA. No one opened this phone before. Let me take on, take off all the screws. Let's see now. All the screws are out. All the screws are out. Okay, the body looks clean. What about the charging panel? It also looks fine. I can't see any sign of water damage from this side of the engine. Even on the other side. But the owner said this was due to water damage. Okay. Let's start checking by the charging port. Do you have any 5 volts passing from the charger to the plus terminal? That's very important. So I think our first problem here is the charging port. I think that's the first problem that we have here. What about voltage? What voltage do we have? 3.17 volts. Okay. So... Three point seventeen. Obvious, we can't have a working phone. This is three point eighteen volts. It's very low. Voltage is very low. Before we can charge the battery, since it's water damage, we want to do three things here. 
the first thing that I will do I want to clean the main body if we can let's just clean if we are not seeing anything and dry up the body That should be okay. Let's leave this aside, cooling. We want to replace the charging port. Well, this charging port is not good. It's not driving five volts to the to the plus of the battery. Because there we must have voltage there. So let's start by replacing the charging port. Oh, it's a mess here. One second. Let's replace the charging port now. Need to lower the temperature. Add the old port. Let's clean up the area. Nothing hard here. Those are basic stuff. Let's come with our new charging port. Easy. That's our port. Let's put up our port. Basically, that's all what we have to do. Basically, that's all what we have to do. Go 
put some more solder on the pins ensure our port is strong I'll resolder a few pins under microscope which is not on the camera let's test our port now it's time to test our, our port Must have four point something five was there. If the charging port is working fine, charger plugged S around eleven standby current. That's a good sign. What do we have on the plus? 4.18 volts. So our port is now working, okay? So, second step is to charge the battery. That's the second step. Let's lower the voltage. Four point four point eight volts. Let's charge up this battery quickly. Four amps is too much. Let's lower the current. Three three amps that should be fine. And it's taking three three amps because that's the max current which I set there. So I'll charge the battery and then we can test together, okay? Let's charge let's charge our battery a little bit. It's taking three amps, which is fine. Let's see what voltage do we have now on the battery. Ground from the charging port plus 3.64. Okay. So 3.64 is a little bit low. But uh, Let's see. Maybe we can see something. Who knows? Maybe we can see something. Maybe. Just need to put few screws here for the purpose of testing. You know what? I hate fixing small things. Everything is small on your phone. That's why I love fixing bigger things. TVs, radios, laptops, things like that. Than fixing phones.
just need to put few screws towards the 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 engine and the charging port panel that's all let's plug in the charger charger plugged you can see we have the charging sign what about charging let's wait and it's taking around one amp three percent you see our phone is working let me try to turn it on you see the techno sign let me put all the screws in test and we test it one more time okay but it seems this job is done it's charging fine and our phone is turning on so i just finished putting all the screws together uh, you see it's taking around the uh, close to one amp 900 milliamps which is fine and uh, you can see everything is working fine here so this is how you can uh, diagnose and fix a dead phone you know all phones is very simple you check if the five volts is passing from the charge from the charger through the charging cable through the charging port to the plus of the battery terminal if not something is wrong there but in most cases is the charging port okay so what we've done here we change the charging port the battery was highly discharged around the three three point three point something three point twenty if i do remember well so minimum voltage is on most of the batteries is 3.85 discharged and fully charged 4.2 so if the if the battery discharged discharge 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 below 3.8 at some point there will be no communication between the the main chip that the controller of this phone and the charging IC and at that point even if we put your phone on charger it won't charge but according to the owner explanation he said water damage but I didn't see water like signs of water damage inside but uh, anyway this job is done our phone is charging is working fine like subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell see you on the next tip. repair okay bye